here we are at the end of the conference and I get to interview one of the winners of this amazing developer contest here at the Twitter conference in Los Angeles. And this is Michael Wolf. Zoom in on his badge. Yes, there it is, Michael, Michael, Michael. And we're talking to the brains behind Tidy Tweet. So tell me, what was the impetus for this particular invention? So I work at a company called Rockfish Interactive. We do primarily client work. So we build websites that we like to pull in social media elements, um, one of which is Twitter feeds. So we actually had a site where we pulled in a Twitter feed with a search on a certain hashtag, and we actually had people start spamming that hashtag. And so that spam ended up on the client's homepage. So we Ooh, obviously realized that's, yucky, yucky, that's yucky. a bad, bad that's thing. That's a bad thing. So we realized we had to figure out a way to solve this internally. So our, our concept was build some sort of moderation engine. We quickly realized there was, there was power there, and that could be something that other people could use as well. And so the concept for tidytweet.com was born. So now the thing about Twitter and social media is you're supposed to be authentic. So by filtering, are we non-authentic? How does that, how do you think that sits? Well, and, and the interesting thing is we're not deleting anything. It's all out there still. If you go do a search for that same hashtag on Twitter, it's still there. We're not deleting anything. We're just controlling what actually makes it to the client's homepage, what content they're actually showing. So to me, it's not... Um, you it's know, not, it's being, not being unauthentic. unauthentic. Now, I, I could definitely see the, the someone saying that, but in a corporate uh, in a corporate type environment where you're concerned with your branding, I, I think you, don't you want can give up a little blind. bit of that authenticity for the lack of liability that you get. Right, and I, I think sometimes, I think social media, you know, you want to be authentic, you want to be genuine, you want to be direct, but I don't know if cussing, you know, right. like, I don't know if that that's really there appropriate. There are some things that are some things, clearly across the line. They don't really add any value. Right. It's like, it's not like you're saying, you know, I'm complaining about your product and I really, I'm telling you the feedback of what would be better if. Right. We're not filtering negative comments in general, we're filtering out the stuff that's really inappropriate. That's correct. And my, my take on it, again, now we take and we put that power in the client's hands. So they have the ability right. to prove and reject however they feel appropriate. But what I would recommend is that if there is someone complaining about your, your product, you leave it there, but you respond to it. And we've heard that time and time again in some of the different sessions today is that that's an opportunity. Those complaints are an opportunity for you to make a good impression on that person that had that problem. So I would recommend you leave it there. But again, we put that power in the client's hand and kind of give let them make that decision. Well, see, as an old alchemist, I think that that's the opportunity to take lead and turn it into gold. <laughs> so why do you think you got funded? I mean, there were seven other people in the finalist group. Why do you think they picked you? Well, we actually didn't get funding. We just basically won the opportunity to present at the to the entire conference tomorrow morning after Tony Robbins. So that, that would be a big opportunity for us there. As far as why we got picked, I think our product is solves one problem, and that problem is inappropriate or content that you just don't care about in your Twitter feed. Solves that one problem and it solves it well. It's a very clear objective and we've solved it and I think it, it accomplishes that. So um, to me, I think that's where our power is. It's not an overly novel concept. Um, it's just solving a business need and solving it in a, in a really easy to use way. I think you're right. I think that's why I picked you. Congratulations, Tidy Tweet and Mr. Michael. Thank you for taking time out of your evening to talk to me, and uh, I think we're going to see much more of you. Great. Looking forward to it. Thanks so much. Thank you.